my channel. I am Samantha and I am the Lux Wife. I'm so excited today because as you see by the title, we are doing an unboxing. If you are subscribed to me and if you're not, you want to go ahead and subscribe. I'm waiting. Subscribe. Subscribe. Because earlier this year when I launched my channel, I did a 2023 wish list and this item was on my 2023 wish list. If you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, then you probably already know that I uploaded basically just a little snapshot of the box, but I actually didn't unbox the shoe. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've already taken the shoes out of the box. So this is not like a blind unboxing. I just want to do an unboxing with you guys to kind of let you guys know my first impressions, sizing, because that is a big thing, sizing. So we just want to get into the shoe, talk about it, pricing, everything. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So. If you do not know, I obviously am talking about a pair of a golden goose. I saw a friend of mine on Instagram. Her name is Mara Daily Blog. She posted a pair of golden goose. And don't get me wrong, I've always wanted a pair of golden goose because like I said earlier this year, in my 2023 wish list, I just, I wanted a pair. I talked about me wanting a pair. However, she posted a pair on her Instagram, on her TikTok, and I was like, you know what, this is my sign just to go ahead and get them. And she posted them that they were on sale. So I went immediately to the link, but unfortunately my size was gone. It was gone, it was gone. So I was determined to find me a pair that I love. Now, the big thing about Golden Goose is that why are y'all spending this kind of money on a shoe that is aged? And I like to say aged and not dirty because we don't say aged, okay? And you know, at my first impression was like, I just can't do it, I can't do it. And then I started seeing the shoe more and more and more and I was like, you know what? It would be nice to just throw on a shoe that I don't have to worry about oh, what it looks like. And that's that. So I got the shoe. I got the shoe discounted. Yes. You know, we don't pay full price over here. Even though we're all things lux, we do not pay full price. I got the shoe discounted. I actually found a pair that I fell in love with on Essence. And they were marked down from $700 and something dollars to basically three something. And I think I paid four something with tax. So, yes. Guys, let's get into these shoes. If you do not have a pair of Golden Goose, if you do have a pair, this is what the inside of the box looks like. It also comes with like a little passport thing of a shoe. And as always, in most cases, if you buy a pair of sneakers, that they come with the desk bag. So here is the desk bag, pretty quality desk bag. <laughs> Once you're inside of the box, and I love how they have like this box. I love how it opens like this and not a typical, just a top that comes flying off. I love how this opens. <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> so, here is the pair that I purchased. I just think they are so cute so darling now i'm going to be completely honest with you guys now there are some that are significantly dirty okay or aged <laughs> than this but i just did not want to go that far i just wanted like the just a uh, just a little bit because i'm like a clean type person and I just went like a little bit and I didn't want to go overboard. So as you see, these aren't too far gone, but they do have a little bit of aging to them. So let's talk about the shoe. First impressions of the shoe, when I first saw them, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I was underwhelmed because I was just like, I cannot believe I paid this type of money for these sneakers. I was, I'm going to be completely honest, that was my first impression until I tried the shoe on. The shoes are incredibly comfortable. I mean, incredibly comfortable. I can't express to the fact of how comfortable these shoes are. That was the first thing. The second thing I also noticed is, although the shoe is aged, the scuffing does not feel like scuffing so you know how when you running or something like that and you scuff your shoe it does not feel like that it still feels like a brand new shoe 
it just looks like an aged shoe. I do not know what type of voodoo they got going on at Golden Goose, but I, you know, I just, I don't know. But yes, it does not feel aged at all. So that is something to consider if you are thinking about purchasing these shoes and you are kind of on the edge. They don't feel aged at all. They still feel like a brand new shoe. Because I'm a girly girl, of course, I decided to go with something with a hint of pink and a little bit of, you know, some a glitter. And I guess because it's a Barbie season right now and baby, they working hard over there on Barbie. Um, pink is just trending, but I've always been a fan of pink and that's that okay so i love how the shoes fit okay that's like i said i love how the shoes fit let's talk sizing let's talk sizing i am a true nine i don't care what shoe it is i am a true nine us nine i ordered these in a size 39 and the fit is perfection now the shoe is a narrow shoe, okay? It's like a Converse. It is a narrow shoe. So my suggestion would to be if you decide to get a pair to go a half size up to accommodate if you do have wider feet. That's just my only suggestion. But my feet is narrow, so I honestly don't have too many problems when it comes to shoes. I know European shoes are typically cut smaller however sneakers are they tend to be on point and sometimes they may be even a little bigger but nonetheless nonetheless i'm a true nine and i ordered these in a size 39 and the fit is perfection i like these because i love the little contrast between the pink star and also the little snake python print that's on the back with the golden goose that's actually in pink so i really actually love that what i intend on doing i intend on getting some different shoe strings they have some different laces on the golden goose website they have all different kinds i love the ones that are white with the gold eyelet and i also love the ones that are white with the silver outlet and based off these shoes i'll probably get the ones that has like the silver outlet on it um just because i feel like it, it would match the shoe better but i just love the fact that i'll be able to throw this shoe on and not care what's going on raining puddles i don't care because you know when we pay a lot of money for shoes typically we kind of baby them and i just want to be out of the baby phase of babying shoes I just want to I just I just want to be out of that phase so these are not getting babies babies I wanted to honestly go to a golden goose and get them actually customized but this is what I thought about and this is what a friend of mine said this is also what my husband said you do not want to go and spend all of that money on a pair of customizing some shoes and one you hate them and two they're uncomfortable so if you're going to take the plunge on the shoe take the plunge at a discount price and just see how you actually love them and i'm glad i did i'm glad i did now the question is do i think in the future do i want to get a pair customized honestly i don't know I don't know. I feel like one pair may suffice. I do know some people who have multiple pairs, but when it comes to sneakers, I'm not a multiple pair kind of girl. I'm more of a sandal girl. So I just like my feet to be out because I don't need my dogs barking. So yeah, but I love the shoes. I love, 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 love the shoes. Let's talk pricing again I ordered them from essence I will link them down below so that way you guys can go and check it out I did honestly get them doing their private sale so if you want to shop essence private sale you definitely 100% have to download the app um, you can't just shop it from the website and think you're gonna get the discount you have to actually shop it from the app to see the private sale and the private sale honestly is always good it's always on point farfetch and essence sales are literally neck and neck to me so I love their sales I know I'm gonna get a great price only difference is I feel like farfetch is much bigger of a brand and they have so many vendors and you may see the same item three times three different prices so you just have to keep looking and looking and looking 
okay until you see that price that you desire i'm going to insert some uh, shots of me with the shoe on because yes i still love them and yes they are still fire to me these are the golden goose uh, superstar i started to get the pure star and the pure star is the all white like the clean look and i said to myself if i'm going to get the shoe if i'm going to go into the brand i need to do the brand justice and actually get this shoe so that's again another reason why i decided to go with these but again now these are on the cleaner side of these sneakers they have others that are significantly dirtier okay so I just want you to keep in mind. I also like that I also like that these have the black laces. And like I said earlier, I'm going to get some interchangeable laces. But I do like the contrast of the black because again, when you have white laces on a white sneaker, you already know how it goes. And between the mom errands, the wife errands, the errands for myself, I want to be able to not worry about what's going on on my feet the door hit my shoe it's raining i don't care. i just don't want to worry about a freaking shoe and this is one that i don't have to worry about say that you don't like the shoe or you think the shoe is ugly i need you to check them out on feet on the body and see how it looks and i think it just looks significantly good my opinion if you want to get you a pair i would just suggest get them on sale first because i'm going to be honest with you you know typically when you're paying for something you expect them to look brand new they feel brand new but they do have the aged look I think the shoe doesn't personally look all that good, but once you style the shoe, I think it looks really good. If that makes sense. I think that makes sense. That makes sense. If you have any questions that you want to ask me about the shoe, by all means, let me know. Drop them in the comments so I can talk about them because what I'm going to do in about two months, Maybe about two, three months, I'm going to do a review on these sneakers. And th the review is simply going to be the wear and tear, the fit, how they are over time. And then maybe I'll do another review in a year or so. Just so we can take a look at the shoe to see how the shoe still looks and holds up over time. I do follow and see a number of stylists on both Instagram and TikTok and they they rave about these sneakers and for a long time i could not figure out a why but they rave about these sneakers and i just think they look so good i think they fit so good and i don't have any regrets about them again i am excited and happy that i, I did not pay full price so if i do get another pair i think i just don't want to pay full price for this shoe it ain't worth paying full price i mean i'm not gonna say it's not worth paying full price what i'm saying is I don't like paying full price unless I have to. So I'm not a cheapskate, but I do like to save my money when I can save my money, if that makes sense, because that makes sense. I can even throw the shoe on with the outfits and it looks cute. I'm running errands, you know? Well guys, we did a quick a little unboxing, unveiling of the Golden Goose. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm about to get ready to run out because I need to go get a few things for our home because we are doing a living room refresh, which is going to be coming up. So you guys will get to see pretty much my living room layout and the things that I have and or that such. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time and until next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.